Well, we are just a couple hours away from the gates opening at the Iowa State Fair. And our Griffin Wright joins us live this morning from the fairgrounds, capturing all the sights and sounds. Now, Griffin, where are you at right now? What can you tell us? Yeah, hi, Kaylin. So I'm here at the cattle barn at the fairgrounds, and it has been a busy morning. Lots of people going by, tending to their animals. I'm actually joined by Cody Kepke. He has all these animals that he's brought here to show. And Cody, how has it been so far just with all the setup leading up to the fair? Um, it's been a really cool experience. It's been pretty busy around here. And getting all the cattle ready and our display ready, it's been really busy, but it's been a really good experience. Mm -hmm, definitely. And then are any of these animals, do you have, you have a favorite one? We talked a little bit earlier. Uh, definitely Evie right here. She's definitely my favorite. She's really cute and she's pretty nice. <laughs> definitely, so, definitely. Yeah. And uh, so all these cows are going to be competing. Yep. Is that correct? So is that today and tomorrow? Is uh, that? So all the Jersey ones, all the brown ones here, all they're all going to be competing. And the two Holsteins in the middle right there are going to be competing tomorrow. So are you excited for uh, to see see how things go? Yeah, definitely. And then is this your? This isn't your first. No, nope, it's like my competition. No, nope, it's like my fifth year. So it's not it's not new to me, but I'm still definitely learning about showing and yeah. So gates open in a few hours. No. Are you really looking forward to that? <laughs> People coming through yeah, and you know, it seems like it's a lot of hard work yeah. to get here. Uh, it's really cool to see when, when people walk through and like when children's face light up and they see all the cattle. It's a really cool experience. And there's pe people who don't know like how, what pe cattle do. And some people who haven't even touched a cow before. And for them to pet one, it's just really cool. Yeah, is it, would it be all right for me to yeah, definitely. go ahead and pet Evie? So. This is so. How old is she? She's about just a few months, right? Yeah. <laughs> As you see, the kids come through. You know, really everyone, a lot of people who maybe live in the city or just yeah. the suburbs, they yeah. don't get this type of experience. Uh -uh. So you're, you get to share that with yeah. them. Yeah, and it's it's a really cool th uh, thing to see. And yeah, definitely. And I guess are you last last question? Are you? ready for the fair ready for this just a couple hours for the people to come through um it's definitely a, like a rush to get ready and stuff but i think i'm ready for it so, <laughs> definitely definitely yep. well hey thank you for taking yep. time with us no problem we're going to be coming back throughout the rest of today in iowa with more updates on everybody getting ready for the fair and it really looks like it is going to be a busy busy week yeah, it sure will. Those 4-H'ers work hard to get everything ready. And when you do walk through those barns, it is the true Iowa experience. They will show you around what they have um, ready to show for, for when they show all their animals. And But watch out, if you do walk through, some of them have that little spider they drop down to kind of scare you. I don't know if you've ever done that, but um, it's a lot of fun to go through and see them. So thanks for that live report, Griffin.